Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, back here in the mountains to give you another gear review. And today we we're talking about the Hario MSS-1B coffee mill. Quite a mouthful. If you saw my video on Epic Backcountry Coffee, you can see that I have a very strong appreciation and love for good coffee. With that, no matter where I am, backcountry, overseas, Afghanistan, hanging out in my house, Part of what makes coffee good is fresh ground beans, and that's where this grinder comes in. The design's pretty simple. Up top, you have your grinding arm, which actually comes off, making it really handy for travel. And then on top here, you have this plastic piece, which covers your grind chamber. Once you fill this with beans, throw this guy on there, stays on there securely, at which point, throw this on there, grind away. Inside here, you have a ceramic burr grinder. That is very important, a couple reasons. One, it does a good job with consistently grinding the same grind. And then on top of that, it doesn't impart any flavors, which is also important. Down here, this is your chamber where all your grounds fall into. And right here, we have our adjustment. We can tighten this, this little like wing nut, turn it to the right, making the grind finer, or to the left, making it coarser, depending on what we're trying for, whether it's going to be something like an AeroPress where we want a finer grind, or a French press where we want a coarser grind. To use this grinder, I'm going to go ahead and take this lid off. I already took the uh, grinding arm off, so it's not in my way. Get my coffee beans, and volume-wise, probably about three or four tablespoons, I guess. I don't know, hard to tell. But I already measured it out, and essentially what I want to do is I want to pretty much fill up this grind chamber. And for me personally, I find that makes a really good cup of coffee. If you just want some coffee-flavored water, then you could use lesser amount, I guess. But for me, for a good cup of coffee, I find filling this uh, chamber right here does a really good job. And then at that point, throw this arm on there, start grinding. And once we finally finish grinding our coffee, it usually takes about two minutes. I have noticed that depending on your coffee beans, as far as dark roast versus a light roast, I find the darker roast actually takes a little bit longer to grind. I think probably because there's more oil on the beans. But ultimately, we have our nice, finely ground coffee, consistently ground. And we put in whatever type of coffee maker we're going to use. In this case, my AeroPress. And we're good to go. Continue on with making our coffee. Another added bonus of this uh, Hario grinder is that it does, for me anyway, since I use this uh, Yeti tumbler, it does nest inside of it pretty well, which is just kind of a... Another little handy feature. You can get this guy off of Amazon, I found, probably the best place, about 37 bucks. I actually purchased this back in July of 2013, so almost three years ago. Been using it pretty much daily since then, and it's been holding up great for me. And some people are like, ah, I don't have two minutes to grind my coffee beans in the morning. If you don't, you don't. For me, it's time to kind of just zen out and actually enjoy it. And I end up with really good, consistently ground, delicious, freshly ground coffee. At any rate, thanks for joining us at KitBadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.